guess what yesterday was? Three months. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, I am obviously a little bit under the weather, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> You'll hear my voice a little bit, but anyhow. So I've met somebody that if I wasn't involved in the celibacy project, I'd probably be involved <laughs> with him. This morning in the shower, I was like thinking back on like the first day I'd met him, which was, I don't even know, a month and a half or something like that ago. And um, I remember thinking at the time when I first met him, I was like, well, if I was single, I'd probably pursue that. And then I realized like what I said to myself if I was single. And I realized this really cool thing. I realized that I'm like dating myself right now that's kind of like I guess a little bit what's happening I, I suppose so what I'm discovering in this situation currently is an awesome observation of staying present with things in the video the who what and why back in September my mom had just asked me a really challenging question and she said you really like to like stay in the flow and what if you meet somebody and you have this goal set up and you're cutting yourself off from the flow really at the time it was like meh you know like this is what I need to be doing right now whatever but yeah okay so props to mom for calling me on this because it's totally what I'm experiencing right now. But what's really funny is in that video, I talk about connection and I talk about how I can connect with friends and then I can also like connect in a whole different way where it prompts other ways of looking at each other. And if anybody has read my blog entries from the last few nights, you would know that over the last four or five days experiencing just such amazing growth through eye contact, sustained gazing with a couple people and and it's helped me become more vulnerable and break down the barriers around my heart. So it's actually through that connection that I've been able to grow. I've recently seen in one of my friend's eyes what love can be. And it's open and it's empowering and creating independence and individuality as well as respecting that person for themselves. And he likes to phrase it that this is love and this is fear. So when you hold somebody like this, that's out of fear. When you hold the love like this, it's open and it's beautiful and that's what I want to do. I want to be able to love like this, not like this, but I don't know how to do that yet. I have years of programming of how to have relationships and I recognize that that's not how I want to have relationships anymore and I want to change that. It's like a computer thing, like I need to reprogram it, which takes practice and time. And so right now I'm super excited to have this project standing in the way of me jumping in and playing out old patterns totally unconsciously. Super grateful to have something that is making me take the time, figure out how to relate the way that I want to. I'm figuring out just how important presence is and I believe that it's only through being present every day with myself, with my life circumstances, with my friends, that is gonna lead to potentially something well, it's just gonna, it's the way to live, I think. It's like the only way to go. <laughs> it's really all we have, right? Is now. If you're just tuning in to 365 Days of Celibacy, please go ahead and come check out my website, 365daysofcelibacy.com. Please feel free to get in touch. I really want to give a shout out to Eva Coleman. She's a spirit sister for me, and real sister in a lot of ways. And she made these fabulous earrings that I'm wearing. She's a beautiful jewelry designer. And I suppose if you are interested in, you know, any of buying any of her jewelry, like get in touch with me. I can totally get in touch with her. <laughs> Until next time, love from me and Kitty.